Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's try something a little bit more challenging. Here's what they give us. There is a sequence, an arithmetic sequence. They tell us that the first term, A1, is 5. The 21st term, A21, is 45. And they ask us to find the 62nd term. Well, we know that we can plug things into this equation, but in order to do that, we have to figure out what a1 is equal to and we have to figure out what d is equal to. Now a1 is known, they gave that to us, but we don't know d. Now that's the common difference, but since we don't have the sequence up there, we don't know what the common, the common difference is by taking the difference between uh, two, uh, two, uh, two consecutive terms in the sequence. So we need to be a little bit more clever. Let's take this equation and solve this for d. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take this equation over here and write it as follows. We can write that a sub n minus a sub 1 by moving a sub 1 to the left side and set that equal to the quantity n minus 1 times d. Now we can divide both sides of the equation by n minus 1. These cancel out and now we can see that d is equal to a sub n minus a sub 1 divided by n minus 1. So this is another way to find that difference between any, any two consecutive terms. So now, since we gave the information, they gave the information on the 21st term, we can let n equal 21. So we're going to let n equal 21. And so d, the common difference, is equal to a sub n, in this case, is going to be a sub 21 minus a sub 1 divided by 21 minus 1. That will give us what we're looking for. So this is equal to a21, which is 45, minus a1, which is 5, divided by 21 minus 20, which is uh, 21 minus 1, which is 20. So this is equal to 40 divided by 20, which is equal to 2. So now that we have the common difference, d, and we know the first term, we're now ready to find the, the 62nd term. So now we can write this, use this equation again. We have a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. And now we're looking for a 62, which is a 1 plus 62 minus 1 times d, and d is equal to 2. a sub 1, of course, that a 62 is equal to a sub 1, which is 5, plus 62 minus 1, which is 61 times 2. So a62 is equal to 5 plus 122. And so a62 is equal to 127. So once we know a1 and d, it is easy. But here, the trick was to figure out a way to find the value for d. And that is how it was done. <clears throat>